guys, it's Uncle Jonah here, and I'm back with a beer review, and this one is one that I, I bought a while ago and has been sitting around, but I thought, why not drink one now? Um, it's an interesting Belgian beer. Um, it is called Blanche de Namur, and it's from the Ducoc uh, Brewery. Ducoc? Exactly right. So you might think, why did I buy a Weiss beer, or in this case, a Witt beer? Um, well, I get it from supermarket chain Tesco's, and it was a uh, reduced to one pound and nine pennies. Um, and I believe it was about two pounds. I did a price check on Beers of Europe, um, which um, one of my old pals, Clive, uh, works there. And uh, yeah, check them out. They're a really good supplier. Um, you can give me that beer later on, Clive. Um, anyway, Blanche de Damour. This is named after the Queen Consort of Sweden um, from Magnus the, uh, I think it was Magnus the Ninth or something like that. Um, uh, and interestingly, her mother was uh, Marie de Artois. So maybe she should have called her, uh, her daughter Stella. Stella de Artois? No? <laughs> maybe it's just me. Anyway, um, nice classic kind of Belgian... Uh, looking bottle. Um, what's nice about it, it's got some uh, some flagging stuff there. It's also got a little award, which was the 2009 um, World Beer Award, and it says the world's best wheat beer. And this has consistently got good awards. Some people don't like beers that win awards, but I think it's like a, a stamp of quality that um, says that this is a consistently good beer. Um, and apart from the little sticker saying reduced, I don't know if you can quite see, but it actually has instructions of how to pour this beer um, on the back label, which is fantastic. Bottle, uh, it's a 330 bottle. What more can I say? A little bit of branding on the top with a big B and the blue color, which I think is pretty cool. I do like this. Now, following the instructions, it says store up, right? Take the top off. Whoop, as we do, a little bit of a hiss there. Not too much aroma. It says, pour some of the beer into your glass. And I know that other people have said this is quite a lively beer. Uh, so I'm gonna take it nice and gentle. Um, and I'm using a typical kind of French style uh, glass because I know it would be disrespectful to pour this into a full pint. Okay, so now we've got to this stage, following the instructions, it says swirl the beer around to get all those yeasties into suspension, and then pour what's left in to your, your glass. Obviously, that is gonna create a nice hazy color. There's no chance of seeing here. Um, I did uh, read a quite interesting review on this that said it looks a bit like cloudy lemonade. Um, and I'd agree with that. It's got that pale straw colour. Um, look at the bubbles there. Lovely, lovely white head. Fine, fine, small bubbles. Carbonation wise, I don't know if the camera's picking it up today. Um, it's quite well carbonated. But not. Not too bad on the nose. Um, Head-wise, it started off with, you know, I'd say quite a good head. That's dissipating now. Um, we're talking half a finger's head. On the nose, I'm trying to pick out that typical uh, Vic beer, Belgian style, which tends to be a little bit of spice. Um, some people say hinted bananas. Um, that coriander thing going on, which is all from the yeast. Um, although, it's probably got some coriander seed kind of in there. Um, maybe a touch of peel. Not, not, not much on the nose. It's very light, very mild. Let's go in for some, some action. And because I pulled the yeast in as well, that's going to affect the, the flavour.
Oh, lovely and smooth. It's got a little bit of that carbonation, which helps dissipate stuff around your mouth. Yeah, I'm getting that spice. Definitely getting that kind of banana thing going on, which is odd because that definitely, as I say, that definitely comes from the strain of yeast that these Belgium guys have been making over the years and years. It's all very subdued though. It's a lovely smooth beer. Um, some of the other Belgian styles, uh, sorry, Belgian uh, Vit beers do have a lot more pronounced taste. Um, this one is very, very refined. We are getting, we are getting flavor, but you have to search for them. This is also very kind of quaffable as I like. Uh, how alcoholic it is, my eyes are deceiving me. No, four and a half percent, four and a half. So this isn't gonna get you in, into any trouble, especially because considering it's only a 3.30. Really smooth. Oh, now that I'm now that I'm coming down the glass a bit, the banana, which was kind of picked out in the aftertaste, I'm definitely now kind of getting that kind of orange peel uh, thing going on, and and perhaps even a little bit of zesty lemon peel. Yeah, which is which is unusual. But as I say. It, you do have to think about what's going on in the glass. If you were out in the in the cafe or something like that, and you had one of these um, poured for you, um, you're going to drink it very quickly, I'd imagine. Unless you go for the 750 ml bottle, because these do come in a big wine bottle size and are corked, um, which I think is a lovely touch. Bubbles are so small and fine. It's like a kind of champagne kind of bubble thing going on. Really smooth, nice flavor. Malt profile is, I mean, it's not really what this is about. Um, and hops as well. There's not really any bitterness. It's, it's very, very smooth. Um, this is all about showing off the kind of the effects of the yeast and you know the adjuncts that are put in here just flavor wise like i say coriander seed you definitely got that banana and of late i'm definitely getting orange peel A really good example of the uh, of the style is it anything special well, i'd have to say not not especially. I can see why this has won an award or continues to win awards because it's very, very smooth. It's a very nice beer, nothing offensive, keeping everyone happy, the purists, that kind of stuff. Really good. If you've never tasted a, uh, a Belgian whip beer before, this is quite a good place to start. Very widely available. Um, and it tastes lovely. It goes down very smoothly. So that has been a review of the Blanche de, de Namur. De Namur. Um, I'm going to do some more Belgian beers. I'm definitely going to. Um, guys, this has been Uncle Jonah drinking some more beers. This one is definitely one to try. Um, when you drink it, you'll think, uh, what's what's that all about? But that's exactly what it's about because it's so smooth, it's so inoffensive, as I said, really, really good version of the style. What more can I say? Cheers and beers, guys. Click like and subscribe down below. And we'll see you real soon for more beer reviews, more of my thoughts. Until then, let's think about Damour. That is ultra smooth.